right, let's get started here. We are on Dragonshire and the team in the blue suits on the left side. They are Team AAA, all against authority. And we have Jock as Tassadar, Ta oh, Todd as Tassadar, Jock as Zeratul, Darrow playing Malfurion, and Gerd am Herd playing Sergeant Hammer. In the top lane, their last player, Vipolino as Arfis. And on the other side, Meet Your Makers, another French stream, in the red trunks, and they have Luinth on Thrall, AX playing Nazebo, Eristrina playing Vala, and Kuja playing Uther, and we have Jock on Muradin. So I think Jock, yeah, Jock has seen them. And that's because Tassada just uh, threw out an oracle here. So that definitely helps out in the early game once you have these little stacks and uh, team fight situations where one of the teams just hiding. Oh, that is a nice storm here by Tark. Didn't do all that much damage, of course, but still a nice storm. Well placed. Alright, let's have a look at the lane composition. Get him here, of course, returning here to the bot lane. Ooh, that could have been a nice situation here, but with four heroes down uh, for Meteor Maker, so it's a little bit troublesome for AAA to actually do anything there. And, no, yeah, I don't know, they should probably send another player down here. I think just Malfurion and Sergeant Hammer are not gonna do all that much. I think the Zebo is gonna be a stronger pusher in that case. But maybe they're just gonna try to push mid lane hard, but no, so far just Tot versus Aristrina down there. The Top lane power should go the way of Team Triple A, but nope, they're still waiting. Now they want to go for it. Let's see. One, once Arthas just throws down that root, uh, Thrall could be in trouble. But look at that top la bot lane. Get him here, already in trouble. He's taking quite a bit of damage, but ooh, boosts away. Still, I'm I'm thinking they might need to do a rotation here. I don't think Malfurion and Sergeant Hammer can do this by himself. Oh. Meteor Makers just had control um, of the shrines, but Aristina versus Todd. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna be a shrine capture for Aristina. Oh, Jack. In the first shot. And she's playing. Um, yeah, she's playing this a little bit cautiously, so I like this. This should work out. I think we should stick to this bot lane. Still pushing quite hard. One of the towers already run out of ammo. Oh, I forgot. Um, for Yorkshire Pigou, just show that screen real quick. And we'll go into the picks here pretty soon. Healing Ward for Tesla and Healing Ward for Mafurian, so they definitely have a lot of healing going for them. And in Venom for Thrall, and in Venom for Arthas. So that makes a lot of sense. And Tasta is going for a different build here. Conjurus Pursuit on him, so not the Storm build. Oh, that is a nice zombie wall. Gerdam Head is trapped, but now that Jacques has joined the fray down here, I don't think they're gonna go for it. Oh, Thrall has gone down. Arfis is a little bit low up there, but he did capture that shrine. So if Triple uh, A can overpower Meteor Makers now, they're in a good spot. But nope, it looks pretty solid so far. Oh, pretty high mana. Ooh, another really good zombie wall. Darrow is in trouble. Are they going for it? No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. I would like to see that rotation. Meanwhile, Jock, uh, Thrall has joined the fray again here. And Vipolino going for the recapture. Immediately. That's Top Shrine going the way of Team Meteor Makers. And now, Vala is in trouble. Yeah, she wanted to try it, but it's not gonna work. Not gonna happen here. Uh, did Vala go for multi shot? Yes, she did. And let's switch to bot lane again. Man, this is a really strong siege, but gotta say, uh, so far, Get Head and Darrow are doing quite well. They, they're they not getting extremely low. Um, they have a lot of mana available, just pushing them back. Of course, the towers will be taking damage, but that's that's just natural. If you have a sieger uh, in your opponent's team uh, in the same lane, and then it's two versus three, uh, that. That's definitely damage coming into your towers. There's no way around it. Still, I think this is a pretty solid push. Oh, no late coming in. And let's check out those level 7 talents. Oh, finally! Static charge coming in for Tassada. And what else? Battle momentum. 
for Valor and Thrall. Not too surprising. And looks like Thrall might be in trouble again, but 1v1 uh, she should be fine. She should be fine. They're pretty much even in experience. Oh, not with Jock joins the fray. Oh gosh, that's another Thrall down. <laughs> wow, what the heck just happened? He just flew off like crazy. It's just so contorted and then flew in the air. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Really good idea here for Meteor Makers. Uja uh, taking the siege camp. Ooh, get him head. A nice pushback, otherwise he might have been in trouble. And there's the storm, Ja coming in as well. Aristina catching some fire there on the right side. But now the sea giants are coming in. This could be the push they wanted down here. Meanwhile, they keep a really solid control on the shrine. So I don't think that either team will go for a Dragon Knight all too soon. And this is something we um, kind of see pretty often now in, in pro games, where neither team will actually um, get a Dragon Knight all that soon. Pretty much the same here, they're just gonna try to keep these sea giants alive and fight with them. Maybe just lure them out a little bit more. Murden and Uther are waiting up, uh, up there. At the same time, Thrall still fighting with Ripolino. The Lymph has the upper hand, but ooh, they have another 10 talents up. So, Meteor Makers need to watch out, they need to get a little bit more XP in, otherwise they might run into trouble. Archon. For Tesla, Void Prison for Zero Tool Tranquility. Coming out of um, Malfurion. Napalm Strike for Sergeant Hammer and Army of the Dead for Arthas. Oh, X is in trouble. And that's the capture here for AAA, and that's exactly what should have happened for them. But now a really strong push on the top side. Good rotations coming out of the Meteor Makers there. Um, they're, keeping, they're keeping AAA on the move. And did or did already do quite some damage, so didn't do uh, all that much in the team fights just yet. Well, not really team fights, but just hero takedowns. But doing quite well in the damage departments. Let's have a look here. Uh, siege damage, 23,000. I don't know if we have a way to actually go for total. Nope, not really. Not really all that much. So over here we have Reign of Vengeance on Valor. Ooh, Divine Storm, damn it. Divine Summon Uther, Sundering on... Oh, Earthquake on Thrall. And Ravenous Spirit on Nazibo, Avatar, Avatar of course, for Muradin. Oh! That was not bad here by Uther. Get him here, taking quite a bit of damage, but he used his... Uh, he used his medkit. Can't stay alive, though, since it's 2v2. He's still fine. And mid lane being besieged here by Jark. He's in the Dragon Knight. And Todd putting on some solid storms as well. Now Daryl comes in to join them. But so is Aristina on the Meteor Maker's side. But that's the first tower down. Oh, second tower down already. X taking quite a bit of damage there. And Jack, he is quite low. He still has 30 seconds to go on that Dragon Knight. But Daryl and Todd, they're just waiting for Meteor Makers to make a move on and come on out. Because that's the moment they strike. Oh, let's see, Lewis and Daryl. Might see a little bit of a fight down here, but nope, no. That was an excellent, excellent move here by Team AAA. Going for, um, going for the Dragon Knight in the mid lane, and at the same time pushing bot lane. Really, really solid opener. And now, two levels ahead. Not bad at all. Seems like M and M <laughs> Meteor Makers will need to watch out a little bit here. Going for the siege camp, that's really dangerous. It's Jack, I think he did spot that, but he wants to go for EXX. And the zombie wall helps out, but he's still going down. Or is he? Yep, he is. Being shrunk like that, that's not gonna not gonna keep you alive. Not gonna help to keep you alive. And there's the steel on the siege camp. Wow. That's a sherry on top here. Team Triple A. And it's only Uther and Thrall down here. Meanwhile. Valor and Muradin doing their own thing in top and mid lane. It's okay, they're, just, they're still gaining a little bit of XP, but at this point they should really go for the defense, otherwise this keep is in trouble and that's, uh, that's a 5 stack here for Team AAA, so they should watch out for team fights. Oops. Check out the next round of talents here. Distortion Beam, so Todd is playing a little bit of a of a different style Tassel than we usually see. I like it though, it worked out quite well so far. 
Um, shrink ray on the Furion. Um, you don't see Shrink Ray all the, used all that often, but I think it's a really good idea. Oh, there's the Void Prism and Earthquake coming in as well. Kuja with a good Divine Storm, but oh, now he's trapped here. Vipolino taking a lot of damage now in the Reign of Vengeance and he goes down. EXX is in the back, but Shark going for him immediately, but blinking back. EXX will go down here pretty soon though. Is there another heal? Nope, there's not. Kuja is a little bit low, keeping Thrall alive. This is a really good fight here for Media Makers. They're still alive and in this. There's another heal out of Kuja. But they just want to keep that Ford alive. They're not going to go for another hero kill just yet. So really, really good fight for Media Makers, considering the circumstances, but still. Triple A, they're at level 16 now, so we'll see their level 16 talents come into play. And they're going for Stone Skin. You see another scones. Ooh, jam. Damn, that keep is going down. That's the strength of Char Sergeant Hammer. She really doesn't need to risk anything to uh, to finally go for that and take out the keep. Top Shrine is in control. Oh, need your makers now. Alright, let's have a look here. Second strike for Tesla. So he's doing a little bit of a midway thing um, for Storm, Storm Boost, and other talents. There's Tenacious Roots for Mephurion. So. They really rely on him for the CC and another stone skin for such an hammer. Over here, spell shield for Vala, sprint on Ufer and Nazebo, Grace of Air for Thrall, and Rewind coming out of Yurden. And there comes the next team fight. Lipolino is in trouble, he's caught in between the lines here, but he's being healed back up here. And wow, that's Thrall going down. Now Jock is catching some fire there. And Todd coming in from the right side. Garen Head also pushing them back with the shotgun blast. And Kuja caught out there. Puts out another Divine Storm to stop him for a little bit and saves his teammates. What a sacrifice. What a sacrifice out of Kuja. But this uh, pretty much saved uh, three of his heroes here. So definitely worthwhile. He should stick up there. Oh no, that's the next Dragon Knight. In the meantime, Team AAA did go for the Bard Shrine, and a Dragonite is gonna wail away at the wall here. Mid lane is gonna take some serious damage. Meanwhile, of course, again, the split push. That's something you can easily pull off if you have a Sergeant Hammer in there. And with Todd and Darrow as supports, ooh, Vala already going down there in the mid lane. So that's, that's another four down. Only three more keeps to go. And that Dragonite just took out the wall, took out the towers, Vipolino, ooh, doesn't have too much time left, but Nazebo is taken out, that's two heroes down, they might still go for that key, they re-level it ahead, ahead right now, it's not bad at all, Jock going for the kick, and there is Vipolino, finally bursting out of that Dragonite, and Jock, he's an avatar for him, but a good, uh, a good storm keeping him back, still I think the key will fall. Jeez, what a really strong push here out of Team AAA. And there comes the steal on the Bruiser camp. Oh man, they're just piling on the aggression here in the mid lane. Let's see what Ninja Makers can do to stop this. It, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. I'll be honest with you guys, this is not gonna be easy to stop. And they, <laughs> they have to react on the Bruisers here in the top lane. And I think, yep, Siege Giants in bot lane. So let's see, I think this is gonna be the next keep that might fall here. But, yep, not before adding in a couple of bruises in the bot lane. Bruises in top, still going for it, but they're being held held down for a little bit here by the, by the minions. Not for too long though. Oh, luckily for Team AAA, they did go for that Siege camp before it actually reached the wall. And now, can they trap AAA? Three levels behind, not really something, not really a point in time where you want to go for a team fight. Then again, they need to make something happen. They could go for a steal in the Boozer camp, but I don't, I don't think that's really gonna push uh, Team AAA back. They're just gonna go for that bot lane and probably take it out um, without a position. So yeah, need to make a stealth. Just stay back for a while. Towers will be taken out. Gate will be taken out. Hey, they really don't have a way to engage this. And wow. <laughs> wow. That is surprising.
Well, maybe because they just had a two level advantage, but Team Triple A, they could have gone to take out that keep, but instead, rest no just resting on the next Dragon Knight. We'll see. We'll see if it happens. Todd popping the Oracle, seeing the entirety of Meteor Makers. And they're just trying to divide and conquer here. Is it gonna work though? No, that's a nice concave coming out of Team Triple A. Are they gonna make it work? Ooh, everyone's stacked up. They need to watch out. There's the earthquake. Vipolino taking a little bit of fire, but oh, Aristina caught in the void prison. And Thrall already going down. EXX catching a little bit of fire there as well. Yawk is in the avatar, so he should be fine for now. And now coming on to Vipolino. There comes the root. EXX goes down. Aristina catching a lot of fire as well. Puts out the um, Reign of Vengeance, but that's not doing all that much. And now Yawk is the only one left alive. Oh, there comes the shrink, and he's taken down as well. So now, U Uther, where are you? Where are you, Uther? Uh, just hiding back there. I think they've pretty much given up 3 level advantage and uh, 4 heroes down. That's that's pretty reasonable. Sounds pretty reasonable. So let's have a look at the statistics here. 120, might be 120 by the, while, by the time we're done for Sergeant Hammer in the Siege Damage Department. Hero damage also quite high. That's interesting for a hammer. And yeah. I mean, Meteor Makers didn't really stand a chance here.